Sometimes a solid old technology can use a boost from a visionary, futuristic one. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation and the Wisconsin Highway Research Program faced just such a situation. Many of Wisconsin's 14,000 bridges include concrete spans built in the 1930s and 1940s. Weather, heavy loads, and time have taken their toll on these Bunyan-esque structures. Even small bridges can cost well over $100,000 to build, and large bridges, tens of millions. Cash-strapped transportation agencies need innovative solutions to extend bridge lives. So the Wisconsin Highway Research Program and the Wisconsin DOT bridge engineer Stan Woods enlisted the aid of Professor Lawrence Bank at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. Professor Bank considered advanced materials developed in the aerospace industry. Fiber reinforced polymers are advanced composite materials that can be attached to concrete structures boosting their load bearing strength. They have been used for several years in bolstering aging bridges. Unfortunately, FRP fabrics can be troublesome to work with on deteriorated bridges. Maintenance crews must clean concrete surfaces carefully, then use epoxy to glue fabric to failing structural members. Curing times for the epoxy can put bridges out of commission for days, aggravating drivers and costing the Department of Transportation. But Larry Bank had an interesting solution. We developed a unique, simple and cost-effective method for using strips of fiber-reinforced polymer to strengthen concrete structures. We can attach these FRP strips to the underside of concrete beams with simple gunpowder-driven anchors. Bank approached Rock County transportation officials about trying the technology on a bridge in Edgerton over Saunders Creek. The bridge was scheduled for demolition and Bank suggested his method could give the county a little more time to marshal funding for replacement. Bank provided Rock County with supplies and training. It took a small crew less than 38 total man hours to fit the bridge. For about $8,000, the county was able to forestall replacing the bridge at a cost of $140,000 for about a year. With the help of Professor Bank, the Wisconsin Highway Research Program found a cutting-edge solution to a pressing need. The Wisconsin DOT Research and Communications Services, putting research to work.